is happening guys? How are y'all? I got a sneaker unboxing today. It's been a minute, man. I've had these for a week or two now. Just been on vacation and all that. So uh, I'm doing a video of it now. But before we get into it, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you like what you see, you want to see more, hit the subscribe button, that bell for notifications of new videos. Let's get into it, man. Oh, also, we're sipping on this right here. We just did a video of it here, you know. It's called the Treachery of Fruit. It is a fruit goza with mangoes and apricot. And I honestly didn't even remember that it had apricots in here. Uh, but it's 6% ABV and it's from Short Throw Brewing out of North or New Haven. I think New Haven. Where is it? North Haven, Connecticut. Uh, it's just, it's an incredible freaking beer, man. Check this out. Check out this color. Check out the freaking coating on the glass. Everything about this is just ridiculous. Let's get you to unboxing myself. Got this package here from Nike. The Just Do It sticker or tape on there. Let's get, no, let's get into it. Uh, let's see, Nike for here. So, like I said, man, had these sitting in the house for a little while. Haven't gotten a chance to get to do a video on them. But now, here we are. A little excited, but a little, I don't know. I, I don't know. I haven't seen this in person. I haven't seen any of it in person. I've only seen pictures and I uh, opted for the lighter colorway. So you got this right here. Hopefully that shows up in camera. So it's Kim Jones. And that's a huge, huge giveaway of what the shoes are. So we got the Kim Jones Chuck 70 man in the ivory colorway, nine and a half. Uh, the box, very, very cool box. It says Converse on the side. I don't think there's anything on the back, but well, I guess you got the old school Converse logo in the back there, but this Kim Jones on the top of the lid here with the font, that's it. Very, very nice. The wrapping paper, tissue paper inside, just regular old wrapping paper, tissue paper, nothing special. I was hoping to be something better, you know, some, give it a nice touch and whatnot, but it is what it is. So, here's, oh, they're heavy, man, they're heavy. So here are the shoes, man. Hopefully that shows up on camera. I know white and the light doesn't go well together, but yeah, man, it's actually pretty freaking heavy. Um, the sole seems like it's gonna give you like an inch of height there. The eye, eyelet, the eyelets, very, very cool eyelets, man, check that out. And obviously this is just an unboxing. I'm not gonna go in too much detail, but this is that natural ivory color way. I think it's called natural ivory. Um, yeah, natural ivory, black, gray, whatnot. But yeah, just, wow, check out the sole there. It's just, everything about the shoe is actually a lot nicer in person. I'm not sure what I was expecting, but this is a lot nicer in person, in hand, than it was in pictures, man. Pictures looked all right. This is Kim Jones right here on the tongue, but in person, man. In person, this is, this is legit. This is nice. And then, you know, you got the whole plastic on my shoe, what you call mud guard or whatnot, around the entire shoe. It's just, it's nice, man. Let's get the other shoe out here. Yeah, just very, very nice, man. Just a traditional, you know, your typical everyday chuck, but I feel like it has a thicker midsole, and then obviously the whole mud guard thing that comes up pretty high, and then additional, I don't know, I, I call that mud guard, I'm not sure. The additional mud guard there, everything just looks Pretty damn cool and it insights this converse. Um, damn man, just the eyelets and everything. It actually looks looks legit, man. I, and I got the I went for the lighter colorway because it's springtime or you know summer is coming around. So I figured the white or the natural ivory was gonna be more fitable, more more suitable for uh, a springtime, you know, because I I try I I don't I want to wear my shoes all year round, but I just don't because of, you know, it rains a lot here Pacific Northwest, I drive manual, things like that. This, I mean, I can drive my car in this, I can drive a manual clutch in this and it ain't gonna increase it because it's just fabric and very thick rubber. The rubber is not gonna, it's not gonna crease and of course the canvas is not gonna crease at all. And just, just shoe, just everything about it is just very, very nice. Although it is heavy though, it feels like, like a, I don't know, equivalent to like a pair of Air Force Ones or something. It's definitely not a light shoe. But overall, man, very, very clean, very happy with them. 
should open it sooner, but been busy. But anyways, man, that was the unboxing of the Ken Jones Chuck 70 with uh, Nike, man. If you guys like the video, thumbs up. And of course, I'm going to do a full in-depth review on foot, things like that, once I get to wearing them. Uh, anyways, man, thank you for watching. And as always, dreaming dreams and believe all things possible.